Hi everybody, Physics Ninja here today. I want to look at uh, resistors and how do we calculate the value of resistance uh, if we're given uh, some of these resistors here over here. You notice uh, some of them have different colors painted on them. You can have different number of bands also. And typically to calculate the value of the resistance is you have to look at a chart. The chart uh, looks similar to this one. Um, there are values associated with those colors and what you want to do is put those values together in order to calculate the resistance. So you can come in different flavors, four, five, six bands of colors. I'm going to show you a couple examples on how to calculate it and we'll do a practice problem together. Um, like with all my videos, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel to support what I do. All right, let's get started. In some cases, the actual value of the resistance is simply written right on it. Okay, it'll actually write it a little bit hard to see here, but you see the ohm sign over here. Uh, this one also, this is a 4 ohm resistor, and then it also lists uh, some tolerance here. Now these are probably some ceramics, but we want to be able to look at any type of kind of component. If you look at an electrical uh, circuit board, uh, you might see some of these uh, types of components on those boards, and these are simply resistance values. So let's go ahead now and show you how to calculate what is the actual value of the resistance of a component like this. All right, if I go now and look at some actual resistors, if you look back on the previous page, you'll notice that some of them had four different colors, some of them had five, and some of them even have six. So the way you interpret these now, well, we need two things. First, we need to know which each one of these colors what do they mean? And then we need to know which direction do we actually read? Do we start on the left side or the right side? And how do we do that? Okay, so let's start with the direction that you would read any of these. Okay, and notice on one side that the bands are closer together. And on one side, then there's a larger gap, right? And then there's more spacing, even for the six band. On this left-hand side, the bands are closer together. And as I move toward the right side of the resistor, notice the bands are farther apart. So you always start with the side where the bands are closer together. So for all these, we're going to start on this side. Now, if we're looking at a four band resistor and I want to calculate what the resistance is, it's very, very simple. Okay. Some of the bands refer to the digits. Okay. And the digits will show you what that means in a second. Let me just kind of get rid of this. All right. So let's start with the four band receiver. So I start at the first, first one here on the left hand side, it's red. So I follow the dashed line down. Each color represents a number, okay? For red over here, what do I get? It represents the number two. So I write the number two over here. That's the first digit of the resistance. The next band now is a green. Go to the second digit. It represents the number five. The third, now if I'm only looking at a four band, the third band represents the multiplier. So it means it's a number that's going to multiply this 25. So in this case, it's orange. So let's follow it down. The multiplier color scale is over here. And if it's orange, it represents 1K. 1K means 1,000. So that's multiplied by 1,000. And that's it. I'm actually with the first three bands, if there's only four of them, that is the value of the resistance. And that should be a times 1,000, not 100. So that means that this guy here is 25 kilo ohms. Now, the fourth band here represents the tolerance. Now, if you go to the tolerance color scale, which is over here, in this case, it looks like it's more of a gold. So that tells me that it's plus or minus, that's the uncertainty on that value of the resistance, is 5%. So that gives you approximately 1,250, right? So the value of the resistance, if you wanted to write it as 25,000 ohms, plus or minus... Let's say, well, let me just write it all. <laughs> Not too worried about the significant figures here. I probably wouldn't write an uncertainty with this many significant figures, but just to highlight how you would write that out. Okay, so that's all there is if there's four bands. Now, if there's five bands, you gotta be a bit more careful, okay? If there's five bands, the first three of them actually refer to the digits. And then after that, the fourth band of the five band color code represents the multiplier. And the last one is a tolerance here, or the fifth one. So let's go ahead and calculate what is the resistance of this five band resistor? Well, the first one is yellow. So the yellow, the first digit means it's a four. That's easy. The second digit is a blue. So I go down here, that's a six. 
Now I gotta be careful now. The third band, because there's five of them, the third band doesn't necessarily tell me the multiplier. It simply refers to the third digit, okay? Since it's black, that's the number zero. The fourth band now, if it's a five band color code, the fourth band represents the multiplier. In this case, it's orange, so it's also a thousand. So that means it's also kilo ohm. And now, well, the last one represents the tolerance here. The tolerance is approximately, this doesn't look like gold to me, it looks more like brown. It looks closer to plus or minus 1%. All right, let's try to figure out what this last one is, the six band color code. Now the six band refers to some temperature coefficient. Um, anyway, I wouldn't be too concerned about that. Let's just calculate what the value of the resistance is based on the first five bands, okay? So again, we're going to have the first three are going to represent um, the digits. The fourth one represents a multiplier and the fifth one will represent a tolerance. So what would we write down for the six band one? Well, you first start at the red. The red represents a two. Okay. What about the next one? The next one looks like it's, well, it's kind of like a purplish. That looks like maybe a seven to me, seven. The next one's definitely blue, so that's a six. 276. The fourth band is the multiplier. Oh, look what we get here. Now it's black. What does that mean? The multiplier is simply one. Well, that means I'm done. So that's 276 ohms. So you can see you can cover a lot of different values of the resistor simply by having these different color for the multipliers, right? I mean, having a thousand there makes these resistances much bigger than this one. All right, now what is the last one? The last one here is the tolerance. Uh, the tolerance, again, this one looks more like gold to me. Um, the gold tolerance is plus or minus 5%. All right, our last number here, again, it's represented more by this brown color. Let me just uh, write this. For this particular value of the resistance, this would be 100 uh, ppm. Okay, this refers to as the temperature coefficient, the TC of the resistance, the TCR of that particular resistance. And what this number tells you, again, it's how much change you would expect in the resistance value if you change the temperature. So a value of 100, the PPM stands for parts per million. Okay, let me just write that down. Parts per million. And the way that you would calculate it, again, it's the change of the resistance divided by the change in temperature in Celsius. Change in resistance is calculated in ohms. So for this case, for 100 PPM, it's 100 divided by a million. All right, you work out the math here, cancel out a couple zeros. Tells you that this particular resistance is pretty stable, right? The value here wouldn't change to within 0 0.001, one ten thousandth of an ohm per change in degree Celsius, okay? That is the TCR for this resistance. So that's how you can calculate it if you have this six band color code. If you want something that is more tolerance or more tolerable for temperatures, you wanna reduce this, right? You look for something that is 25 PPM or even one PPM. All right, let's try this example out. Pretty simple, we have a resistor over here. Let's calculate the value of the resistance. So first of all, it's a four band. And notice the lines are more closely spaced at the top. So we're going to read in this direction down here. So the first one we get is a brown. Uh, brown has a digit of one. The first digit should be one. Then we have green. The second digit should be five. Then we have orange. Okay, so again, now again, it's only four bands. So that means the third band tells you the multiplier. And again, that's the thousand. So this is 15 kilo ohm. And then plus or minus, then we get a silver down here. The silver for the tolerance is written over here. It's plus or minus 10%, 10%. So really I could write this as 15,000 ohms, plus or minus 1,500. That's 10% of uh, 15,000. Okay, that would be the value of this resistance here. Pretty straightforward, um, just needs a bit of practice.